This is Lisa from Mobile Tech Review, and I hope you've already watched our video review of the ASUS ZenBook UX301, otherwise known as the ZenBook Infinity. That's this guy right here. Inside we have 28 watt CPU, not your usual Ultrabook CPU. It's a Core i7 4558U, 2.8 gigahertz clock speed, Intel Iris. 5100 graphics, 8 gigs of RAM, a 256 gig SSD D and RAID 0. So, yeah, not your usual 13 inch Ultrabook. It's also quite beautiful and stunning. We have this blue Gorilla Glass lid here. Light machine, 3 pounds. But you know, with those extra special internals, how's it going to do in gaming? We're going to find out now. We're going to test out Skyrim, Bioshock Infinite 2, and of course, Civ 5, that touch enable great game now. So we're going to start off with the hardest game, which would be Bioshock Infinite and the three games that we're going to test. And we'll show you the settings that we're using here. We're at 1366 by 768 for resolution. In fact, we have the whole laptop running at that resolution, so we can do just a standard full screen here. And you can hear the speakers are only at 30% volume. They're pretty loud. So 1366 by 768 full screen mode, and we're using the very low quality graphics preset which still looks pretty darn good, and we're going to see how it does. Now, this usually isn't a real enjoyable experience on most Ultrabooks with the Core i5-4200U or even the Dash 4500U Core i7, so we'll see how it goes here. We do have Intel Iris 5100 graphics to make things a bit better. And we're going to jump right into a very busy, crazy scene here, so, as soon as the game loads. Frame rates are really excellent, aren't they? Look at that. And even a low quality preset, it's still looking pretty nice. fog effects right there and if we go indoors the frame rates will generally speaking go up even higher it's a pretty busy setting right here and you can see we're above 60 frames per second now so that's pretty amazing that's the Intel Iris 5100 graphics helping things out and the 28 watt CPU here Core i7 something you don't usually see in an ultrabook of this size so that's Bioshock Infinite running on the ASUS ZenBook UX301, otherwise known as the ZenBook Infinity. And now we're going to test out Skyrim, another popular and demanding game that can do okay on Ultrabooks. And here's the settings we're going to use. 16 by 9, full HD, 1920 by 1080, and we're going to have anti-aliasing, anti-strophic filtering turned off, and let's look at our advanced settings. Pretty much is equivalent to low settings right here. Texture quality, medium, radial blur, low, shadow detail, low, decal quality, forget about it, nope, none, zip. But we do have reflect sky turned on. And here we are again, running at full HD resolution. See the frame rate's holding in the 30s in an outdoor setting, upper 30s a lot of the time, which is pretty good. And even if we fight somebody, honestly, I haven't seen it get any worse. Take a look at our vista out there. Talk to Lydia. Still here. The Jarl has recognized you as a person of great importance in the hold. That's enough of Lydia. So it's pretty smooth and you can travel around pretty quickly, no problem. Take a shortcut. And we've gone looking for some trouble here, so here we are out in the wild. After the abominable snowman. Smooth enough. Maintaining 30 frames per second while beating him up. 
and they're going up to the mid 30s or so. So certainly very playable at full 1920 by 1080 resolution with low settings granted, but looks good enough, plays good enough. Certainly a nice experience on Skyrim with the UX301, the ASUS ZenBook. And next we're going to test out Civ 5 and we're going to run Civ 5 with an expansion pack loaded as well and we're going to use it in DirectX 11 touch mode because, well gosh, it's just darn fun to use it that way. So you can see what our quality settings are here. We're going to go for a full resolution game here, 2560 by 1440. That is pretty darn cool, yeah? Anti-aliasing off and a mixture of low and medium settings. Honestly, this game is not that graphically intensive. It's really more CPU intensive, and having the extra horsepower in this Core i7 is going to help with that, too. So here we are in Civ, and isn't that nice to have all that resolution? You really get the big overview of the map, don't you, here? And we, we've been playing this game for a couple of hours, so... Pinch zooming works, all that kind of thing. We have four or five cities going at this point, and our players are all pretty close to us and pretty busy as well, and they're really, uh, it's keeping up pretty well with the turns. The touch control also works well. On some other ultrabooks with your standard Core i5 or i7, I've noticed sometimes touch isn't all that responsive. And at first I, I just thought it had something to do with the graphics driver, but honestly you can tell the difference here. With a little more speed, it just does the right thing the first time every time with touch. So it's all running very smoothly. The turn speed is quite good on this, as you can see right here. And we have a pretty darn big map going on here. So that's Civ 5 with expansion pack running on the ASUS ZenBook UX301.